Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. This is Don Zizi from All Niger Beats uh, with a quick video. I want to just show you how to make your mix fat. I get this question all the time, you know. Um, after I finish my mix, it sounds very thin. You know, it seems like it doesn't have weight. Um, so if you've been watching all my previous videos, you know that there are certain things you need to do uh, to ensure that you get a mix that's really, you know, thick and fat and fills your speakers. And uh, some of the things you need to do, I already talked about, is the sound selection. Make sure you select the right sounds. Um, make sure you are arranging your song very well, giving your instruments room to breathe. Uh, but apart from that, um, in this video, I'm going to show you quickly, uh, after you finish your mix, before you start mastering or you send it for mastering, um, what you can do to actually make your mix further, but without actually changing um, the peak or the, the amplitude um, of the sound. So you maintain the same dB level, but you are getting a bigger, fatter sound. Um, and this is what I do for all my mixes, and it makes such a huge difference um, when I actually want to master the song. So I have this song here. I'm using my own song, which will be released uh, soon. It's called Live and For God, and I just want you, you to hear how the mix sounds. Now, I've, I'm basically done with the mix, let's say 90%, um, but there's, you know, it, it's still a little bit weak. I think it lacks um, a certain punch, and the low end is not as fat as I would, you know, I would want it to be. So listen. I say live and for God. Live and for God. I say live and for God. Live and for God. Say you are looking for remedy. Say all of your friends that be enemies. You be running around from pillar to pussy. This baba lawo them be comedy. There's something I want you to know. If you want the wahala to go, if you want that to hustle to blow, you go to follow me. Read the Bible. Matthew chapter seven. If you ask, you will give. If you seek, you will find. If you knock, it will open. Yo. Everything where you define, you gotta believe that the Lord is miraculous. Everything where you they hide, you gotta confess all your blessings are populous. Live them for God. Live them for God. Okay, so that's that's how it sounds. But it just needs a little bit more weight, a little bit more thickness. So um, the first thing I want to show you is the virtual mix rack. If you have the Slate subscription, you have access to um, the virtual mix boss, which I use on every mix because. The difference it makes is so clear. So, you know, there are certain things we do in our mix that we just do them because other people do them. But this is one thing that when you do it all the time in your mix, you are going to see a huge difference, especially in terms of headroom. Because what it does is that it's passing your sound through all the analog emulations. And at the end of the day, um, you know, it has a rich, warm sound and it saves you a lot of headroom. So typically, I would put the virtual mix boss on my main um, sounds. Like I have it on my vocal... Um, I have one on my vocal, the channel. I have one on my drums. I have on my the 808 um, bass as well. So, you know, the main elements um, of the mix usually would have this. And I'll connect all of them to a group. In this case, it's group one. And then I'll put one on the master boss, which is this one. So what I do with the virtual mix boss is um, after sending them to a group, I increase the drive and then I make sure the input and output are balanced such that um, you know I'm not going beyond minus 18 which is the sweet spot for analog so just watch this I say live and for when I turn it on I say live and for God live and for God so if you notice the needle doesn't get too much into the red okay the zero you see here is not zero dB in the digital realm it's minus it's actually minus 18 in the digital realm. So what you're doing is that you're ensuring that your mix is not coming in too hot. And so, you you know, of course, I'm boosting the output, but everything balance, balances up at the end of the day. So I'm also choosing the Brit N emulation because I feel like that emulation is, is better and it has a better low end. So now I'm going to do the group bypass and then turn it on again, and then you can hear the difference. Because what it's doing is that it's, com it's changing the sound for all the main elements where you have the virtual mix boss. Without it, I say live and for God. Live and for God. I say live and for God. Live and for God. With it, 
I say leave them for God. Leave them for God. I say leave them for God. Leave them for. If you really want to hear the difference, you need to be using headphones or studio monitors. But there's a huge difference in terms of the thickness and the presence. So the next thing I usually do would be to bring in um, some saturation. Sometimes I use the Fab Filter Saturn 2, but in this case, I'm gonna use the uh, decapitator. I'm using the E emulation. So what I'm doing here with the decapitator is I'm turning up the drive, um, lowering the tone. So I'm getting a little bit more low end. Um, I'm not doing a high cut because I'm okay with it. But if you don't like the harsh sound in the high end, you can use the high cut. And then finally, I'm turning down the mix. You see the, the, the mix is really low. It's something like, I don't know, 10, 15 percent. It's really low, right? So let's hear it with the decapit without the decapitator. I say leave them for God. Leave them for God. I say leave them for God. Leave them for God. Say you are looking for remedy. Now with it. I say leave them for God. Leave them for God. I say leave them for God. Leave them for God. Say you are looking for remedy. Say all of your friends that be enemies. You be running around from pillar to pussy. This baba lawo them be comedy. There's something I want you. So you can see the mix already is just popping like it's. It's there, it's present, it's, you know, the low end, the bass. You can really hear the 808 coming out right now. Um, and then the last thing that I do is I use a clipper. So in this case, I'm using the Diablo. You can use any clipper for this. The one from T-Rex is also very good. I like this one because this one has more controls. There's body, there's heat, there's all these things. So body, you know, gives a, a little bit more with heat, a little bit more high end. You can change the type of heat. Um, you know, I don't boost it. I increase the punch a little bit. Um, and I'm also widening it just a little bit and I'm clipping it, but I'm using the soft clipper and I'm increasing just a little bit of that. Okay, don't follow my settings, just tweak it until it sounds good, but just listen without it. I say leave them for God. Leave them for God. I say leave them for God. Leave them for God. Say you are looking for remedy. Say all of your friends. Now let's put the clipper. I say leave them for God. Leave them for God. I say leave them for God. Leave them for God. So you see the clipper, what it's doing is that it's kind of taking up all the uh, sounds that are too uh, going beyond zero dB, kind of bringing everything down, but also making it fatter and punchier. So those are the three um, plugins that I use uh, to fatten up my mix. Now I want you to hear it without... Um, the plugins and with all the plugins so i'll just turn off all three plugins together this is without here yeah. issues they be killing you you push they're not coming through you try to speak you get ridiculed because there's no breakthrough problems too many to mention i don't know what's the intention they're taking a crazy dimension you need a deeper connection let it be said and let it be known simon says and simon goes things go so let's hear it with issues they be killing you you push they're not coming through you try to speak you get ridiculed because there's no breakthrough problems too many to mention i don't know what's the intention they're taking a crazy dimension you need a deeper connection let it be said and let it be known simon says and simon goes things go bad i let it go when he says yes i don't say no get on your knees and you praise him you really can't place him really can't escape him open the book and obey him Leave him for God. Leave him for God. Leave him for God. Leave him for God. I say leave him for God. Leave him for God. I say leave him for God. Leave him for God. So you can see like the difference is very, 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 very prominent, right? When I turn off and turn on the plugins, like the difference is so clear. And that's what I really want you to get from this is about the fact that the the peak it's not changing much. Look at the DB. Just compare the DB with and without. Just watch this. This is without it. Now watch the, the peak of the meter. Yeah, yeah. Leave them for God. Leave them for God. Leave them for God. You see, it's getting to above zero and all the three plugins are turned off. Now let me turn it on. Now the sound, the sound is bigger, much louder, it's thicker. But watch where it is. Leave him for God. Leave him for God. Leave him for God. Leave him for God. I say leave him for God. So you see the sound is louder, punchier, brighter, deeper, whatever. But the dB is still not crossing zero. It's somewhere around zero, right? Which is perfectly what you want. I mean, if I were to send this for mastering, I'll probably want to turn down most of the channels so that I can get like 3 to 6 dB of headroom. Um, but the point is, you can see the difference be be between using these plugins and not using them, and how it just opens up your mix, takes out all the muddiness, 
makes it punchier, brighter, and you know, just ready to go. And now when you master, it's going to be much easier to do your master. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe, like, share, um, comment below what you think about this tip. If it's helpful, if it's something that you do, um, send me an email. My contact details are on the screen. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys later.